Hello, everyone. I'm Trast Howard, Senior Gallery and Exhibitions Manager at Japan House Los Angeles. It's my pleasure to welcome you to today's webinar. This is the first in a series of three webinars related to our ongoing exhibition, Pokemon Meets Koge, Playful Encounters of Pokemon and Japanese Craft, which is on view in our gallery through January 7, 2024. Today, we will be talking with Keiko Masamoto and Toru Fukuda, artists who blur the boundaries of craft and art, creating truly unique works in their respective fields of ceramics and woodworking. Now, Japan House Los Angeles President Yuko Kaifu will share a few words as we begin the program. Hello, everyone. I wish to welcome you all to today's program with two special speakers, a part of the current exhibition at Japan House Los Angeles, Pokemon Meets Koge, Playful Encounters of Pokemon and Japanese Craft. Some of you may have already visited this extraordinary show. It brings together two of Japan's most celebrated intellectual properties. Pokemon is one of the world's biggest entertainment franchises, and Japanese craft has evolved and refined over many centuries in Japan. What kind of chemical reaction will occur if we bring them together was the question that Mr. Ishihara, the president and CEO of the Pokemon Company, asked. He brought the idea to director Karosawa of the National Craft Museum in Japan and their teams decided to ask 20 craft artists to create their artworks on the theme of Pokemon using their skills and techniques in lacquer, ceramics, textiles, metalwork, woodwork, and other media. Today's speakers are two of the 20 artists who spent almost two years and a half to create their artifacts which are displayed at our exhibition. Ms. Keiko Masumoto is a, a ceramic artist of Shigaraki ware vessels, and Mr. Toru Fukuda is an artist in woodwork known for his exquisite and detailed work. Today, they would share their background, processes, techniques, and passion that went into the creation of their artworks. Finally, I would like to extend our appreciation to our media sponsors, KCRW and LA East, and promotional partners, Animation is Film Festival and Starbucks Coffee. I'm so excited and can't wait to um, hear their presentation, and I hope all of you would enjoy the program. Now, back to Trust. Thank you, Kaifu-san. Before we begin with Masumoto-san, I'd like to share a brief introduction to today's webinar series. During each of our artist talk webinars during this exhibition, we will pair two artists around a theme representing a commonality in their approach to presenting Pokemon through their craft. In today's webinar, we will hear from artists who each pushed the limits of their craft to deftly explore the form of Pokemon in very different ways. Our first speaker today is Ms. Keiko Masumoto. Masamoto-san has created a collection of energetic and humorous works for the exhibition in which Pokemon appear to emerge from her vessels or have seemingly been cut out of the forms. Masamoto-san grew up in Tatsuno City, Japan, just west of Kobe and became interested in ceramics at a young age after attending tea ceremony lessons. She went on to study ceramic art, receiving her master's degree from Kyoto City University of Art. In her work, she combines Japanese ceramic craft technique with contemporary art concepts as she subverts traditional ideas of vessel versus decoration and imagery, creating conceptual and sculptural forms, challenging the viewer and our perspectives of the boundaries of craft, functionality, and art. With that, I'd now like to invite Keiko Masumoto to the screen and serving as our interpreter today is Mr. David Neptune. Hello, my name is Keiko Masumoto. Nice to meet you all. So I'd like to start with my slideshow now. So I use traditional Japanese ceramic techniques and glazes to create pieces in the form of vases and plates. 
、親しみのある壺や皿といった器に、巨大化した装飾のモチーフを合体させることで、器なのか器でないのかわからない、工芸や焼き物のカテゴリーを壊すような作品作りを目指しています。So、my theme has been consistent since my student days by combining familiar vessels like vases and plates with large decorative motifs. As you can see, I aim to create works that break the categories of crafts or pottery, so you can't really tell whether they're a vessel or not. アートに馴染みのある人だけじゃなくて、より幅広い人たちに作品に興味を持ってもらいたいと願っています。And the strength of this technique is that it allows a wider range of people, not just people familiar with art, to take an interest in my work. 例えば、今映っているこの作品では、伝統的なキセトという黄色い釉薬で、だしの染みた大根、タンパンと言われる銅の緑色で三角の。こんにゃく、鉄の茶色でちくわの焦げを表現して、日本の伝統食のおでんの串を彩色しています。And for example, in this piece, the traditional yellow glaze called kiseto is used to represent the daikon radish, which is absorbed the dashi, and the green color of the copper, known as tampan, is used for the triangular こんにゃく that you see at the top, and the brown color of the iron is used to represent The burnt parts of the chikua, which is part of a traditional Japanese dish called oden kushi. Motif in the Sawashi, Yuyak, and Giho Sagashi, the Utsua no Katajimo, Motif to link to the Unishimas. So I looked for glazes and techniques that are appropriate for the motif, and the shapes of the vessels are also linked with the motif. こちらの壺では、タコのモチーフにタコカラクサの模様を細かく書いて。透明に青い釉薬が流れているように見せています。In this space, you can see that the octopus motif is painted with a detailed octopus arabesque pattern. So it makes the blue glaze appear to flow from a distance. 釉薬の自然な流れはより焼き物らしさを感じさせます。This natural flow of the glaze gives it kind of a more、um, pottery like appearance. 釉薬の縁の部分はピンク色に発色しています。And the edges of the glaze you can see are、uh, change color to this sort of pink tint that you see. 次にこちらは、ロウ抜きという技法を使って蛇の鱗を描いています。And here you'll see that I use a technique called the wax resist technique、um, to depict the scales of the snake. この作品が食器が並んだ棚の中に紛れていたら面白いだろうなと思いながら制作しました。I created this piece thinking it would be really interesting to see a snake slithering through a cupboard filled with plates. えと今回のポケモンの展覧会では、いろんな素材の作家さんがいて、陶芸の作家さんも他にいらっしゃるとのことで、私にしかできない特色を出せたらということで、地元の伝統産業であるシガラキ焼きに挑戦してみることにしました。So, for this Pokemon exhibition, there are artists working with a variety of materials, and there were other ceramicists as well. So, I decided to try、uh, my hand at Shigaraki ware, which is a traditional industry from my hometown,、um, because I wanted to create pieces that were、uh, uniquely my style. シガラキは日本に6つある古くからの幼魚地の一つで、上質な粘土が取れます。釉薬はかけずに、土と火の反応のみで現れる、火色と呼ばれる赤色が特徴です。And so, Shigaraki is actually one of the six ancient ceramic production areas in Japan where high quality clay can be found. And Shigaraki ware is characterized by its scarlet color, like a red color. That appears、uh, not from a glaze, but from the natural reaction that occurs、um, when the clay is fired. And until now, I never had a motif that was perfect for the use of the Shigaraki wear technique, but this time there was this idea of fire, which was a perfect match. 炎タイプで黄色で表現が可能なポイントをクリアした中でも
小さめの一影と6本を最初に作り、思った以上にいい結果が得られたので、大型のリザードにも挑戦することにしました。And so I first made、um, Charmander and Vulpix, which satisfied these factors of fire type, scarlet coloring, and small size. And because、uh, the results were so fantastic, I decided to try large Charizard as well. My father is the fourth time. My father is the fourth time. And my husband is a fourth generation ceramicist, and I asked him to help me with all of his shigaraki ware knowledge. This is my first time creating shigaraki ware myself. And so the first step in Shigaraki wear is to make the clay. And this is the, a photo of freshly dug raw clay、uh, for Shigaraki wear. And the clay is dug from a secret location in Shigaraki. And each artist researches the best soil for their own kiln. And so the next step is the raw clay is dried in the sun. It's crushed up and then put through a sieve to adjust the size of the grains. And then after that, the clay is blended with water and other soil with a higher plasticity and kneaded before it's complete. リザードについては、家の穴窯に入る最大のサイズで検討しました。生の状態でギリギリに作っておけば、乾燥するときに 5% ほど縮むので、少し余裕ができる計算です。So, next comes the production process. For Charizard, we considered the maximum size that would fit in the cave kiln at home or the 穴窯 at home. And、um, we calculated that if it just barely fits, Then it'll shrink by 5% by the time we add it to fire in the kiln. So、um, that would give us just enough room. And so, first, we make a diagram to determine the dimensions of the vase. And then、uh, I make several maquettes. Um, and I choose one that has the best balance. My husband is an expert in,、um, in throwing vases on the wheel, so he makes、um, these pieces according to the diagram first.、えー完成して少し硬くなったところでビニールをかけて乾かないようにします。And when the vases have hardened slightly, they're covered with plastic to prevent them from drying too much. さっきのマケットを参考にしながらパーツを作っています。And so I refer to the maquette that you saw a moment ago to make different parts. パーツを作るために厚紙などで大体の大きさや位置を決めています。And to make these parts, I decide the approximate size and position using thick paper as a temporary substitute. このボディの部分は直接壺から粘土をつけて形作っています。And the body parts, I add directly with clay onto the base. でこれは羽ですね。And this one is a wing. I fixed the wings so they wouldn't droop and I made sure they dried slowly. And so I fixed drying indoors until most of the moisture is removed. The finished product is dried in the sun and the water will drain out and the clay turns white. 
。梅と爪の部分は、釉薬が塗りやすい、滑らかな表面にするために白化粧を塗っています。And the eyes and the nails, as you can see, are coated with what's called a white slip to create a smooth surface on which the glaze can easily be applied. 乾燥後ガス窯で800度の温度で素焼きをして強度を上げます。And then, after drying, the pieces are bisque fired in a gas kiln at a temperature of 800 degrees centigrade to strengthen them. 素焼きしたものを穴窯という薪用の釜に詰めます。And then the unglazed pieces are packed in an anagama cave kiln,、uh, which uses wood for firing. And so, as I mentioned, the piece was supposed to fit perfectly with a little extra room, but it just barely didn't fit. So, we dug out some soil at the bottom. In the ground、um, and getting all sweaty, and finally managed to fit the piece in the kiln. これは一番奥に詰めたところです。この後、他の作品を詰めて最後に蓋をします。And this is a shot of the deepest part of the kiln. After we put this piece in at the very deep end, we added other pieces and closed the lid. 炎が当たるところがより色づくので、釜詰めの仕方で色の出方がすべて決まります。経験がないとできません。And so the pieces have a much deeper color where the flame is actually touching the piece. So the way the kiln is packed really determines the coloring of the piece. So you really need a lot of experience to understand how that works. 火をつける前に、釜の神様にお米とお酒をお供えして成功を祈ります。And before we light the fire,、um, we give an offering of some rice and sake to the god of the kiln to offer success. And over four days, the temperature is raised to about、uh, 1240 degrees centigrade. And we use a Japanese red pine as the firewood, which contains a lot of resin, so it helps raise the temperature quickly. And we take turns firing these pieces day and night. And after about four or five days, once the temperature is finally cool enough, the kiln is ready to be unloaded. And the parts with more flame contact have a brownish color, while the shadow areas are much lighter in color. So overall, I feel that the red color、uh, came out very well. 翼は熱に耐えられずに揺れ曲がってしまいました。ガスや電気の釜で焼成するよりカロリーが高いので、焼成中に土が柔らかくなって大きく重くなるほど形を保つのが難しいです。As you can see, the wings couldn't withstand the heat and they ended up drooping a little bit. Since firing this way really requires more calories than firing in a gas or electric kiln. The clay softens during the firing process, and the larger and heavier a piece is, the more difficult it is to keep its shape. So, after this piece was fired, the re some repairs would ma were made, and the piece was completed. So, that's it for the production process of Sharazard. 次に別の作品シリーズを紹介します。And next, I'd like to introduce another series of works. モチーフが壺から飛び出している作品についてはさっきまでのもので解説しましたが、壺の中のモチーフはその時どうなっているのかと考えたのが写真のような作品です。モチーフが壺型に切り取られた形になっています。So, I've mentioned pieces with the motif where it looks like something is leaping out of a vase. So, then I thought about how the motif might look on the inside of the vase, and this was the result. The motif is cut out in the shape of a jar, essentially. 
。猿が屋根の上で畑から盗んだ野菜を食べている。よく見るニュースで見る光景をモチーフにしています。And the motif for this piece is a monkey sitting on a roof eating vegetables it stole from a field, which is a scene that we often see on the news.、えー、猿に関連する絵として、えー、壺の目には遠光即月という図を描いています。And the face of the base is painted with a monkey from a folklore called 遠光即月 or moon catching monkey. これは、えー、猿が水面に映った月を取ろうとして水に落ちてしまうという工事で、月をもつかめると自分を過信して欲を出さずに身の程をわきまえよといういなしめのお話です。茶道具とか掛け軸にもよく描かれます。So, um, this story actually depicts a monkey that fell into the water as it tried to reach for the reflection of the moon. It's a cautionary tale that warns against greed and overconfidence. And it encourages one to know their place in the world. It's often depicted on tea ceremony utensils and hanging scrolls as well. Saru 自体はモチーフとして作っているので、Saru は絵の中には Saru はいません。The monkey itself was created as a motif, so the monkey is absent from the actual painting. このようにモチーフを壺で切り取ったシリーズでは、壺の面に物語の要素を入れられるため、ポケモンの伝説や言い伝えを書くことにして、しがらき焼きでも挑戦しました。So, in this series, in which the motif is cut out of a vase, I decided to paint legends and stories of Pokemon and depict them with shigaraki wear because I could put elements of the story on the surface of the vessel. ファイヤーが来ると春が訪れるという言い伝えから、壺の面には花畑で遊んでいるポケモンたちの様子を上絵で描きました。So based on the legend that the arrival of Moltres signals the beginning of spring, I painted the Pokemon playing in a flower field, as you can see,、um, as an overglaze on the face of this vessel. こちらは球根です。小生時にはちょっとバラバラになっていて、これは接着,接着後の完成した様子です。And this one's called Nine Tails. It was in pieces when I fired it,、um, and this is how it looks after being glued together. And I'd like to show you a little video since it's a little hard to see in just a photograph. Kyukon was more than a few years ago, and he was a few years ago, and he was a few years ago, and he was a few years ago. According to legend, Nine Tails was originally Nine Wise Men. So I used a blue and white porcelain painting to depict the nine figures. Chikurin no Shiken to you, Sanseki Goro no Chugoku de, Narain no Kenja ga, Inshu Stari Gangi o Stari Suru Yosu ga, Sansui to Tomo ni Ega Karete, Ninki no Dai Zai des. So the Seven Sages of the Bamboo Grove is a popular theme. In third century China, it depicted seven sages drinking and chatting over a beautiful landscape. So, in the case of the nine sages, the nine sages are the nine sages. Following this example, the nine men are standing and talking there, and beside them, I painted a bronze or and a bow toy. あ透明の釉薬と一緒にかなり線が流れてちょうど古くてにじんだような効果が得られます。And、uh, when I did the tinting with the shigaraki wear, the lines flowed quite well with the transparent glaze, and it kind of had this、uh, old fashioned blotchy effect. シガラキ焼き作品の解説は以上です。And so that concludes my explanation of the shigaraki wear pieces. 次に染付作品について説明します。And next I'd like to share about the blue and white painting works. コバルトのこういった青い発色は焼き物を代表する色です。The blue color of cobalt is a classic color in pottery and ceramics. これはドイツのシャルロッテンブルグ宮殿の染付の陶器で埋め尽くされた部屋をイメージして制作した作品です。
And these pieces were made in the image of a room filled with blue and white ceramics in the Charlottenburg Palace in Germany. As you can see, a flock of birds are poking through the plates、um, of various sizes, plates and vases. And the pattern of the plates continues on to the motif as well. それが今回これらのポケモン作品につながっています。染め付けに合うカラーの飛行タイプや水タイプのポケモンを選びました。And that leads to these Pokemon works in the exhibition that you see.、Um, I chose Pokemon of the flight and water types in colors that go well with the blue and white coloring. このうちのポッチャマの制作工程をご紹介します。Now, I'd like to introduce the process of creating a piplup. And so, first, I made a full size paper stencil and I make the motif so it matches the curve of the plate, which is spun on a wheel, and glue it after I make sure and match the, the two parts dryness. And that's because if the degree of drying doesn't match, it can cause cracks in the piece. And so this is the bisque or unglazed piece. When the diameter of the dish is greater than about 45 centimeters, The unglazed square is more likely to crack while cooling,、um, which would be caused by the uneven temperatures within that one piece. ししま And this time, the mantine cracked badly, so I had to remake this piece. After the bisque is made, the piece is now ready for the blue and white glazing process. The round areas are masked by applying an underglaze painting transfer paper. And while making good use of the、uh, masking, as you can see, the blue gosu or zapper is sprayed on. And the order of spraying these on really needs to be thought out carefully prior to starting. And so all the masking is then removed, and the additional painting is done to complete the underglaze painting. And then the clear glaze was sprayed on, and the piece was reduction fired in a gas kiln at about 1230 degrees Celsius. And finally, the gold is fired on in an electric kiln at 780 degrees to complete this piece. 他にもいろんな釉薬を使った小さい作品を作りましたので、楽しんで見ていただければ幸いです。And I've also made、um, some other small pieces with various glazes, so I hope you can enjoy、um, taking a look at those as well. 以上で全ての解説を終わります。ありがとうございました。And that's it for my explanation, my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Masumoto san. Seeing the enormous volume of the Charizard、uh, jar in person is really amazing、uh, in the gallery. And the way the Shigaraki clay reflects the element of fire intrinsic to the process really makes it a beautiful choice for your collection of fire Pokemon. And also, there's a very organic coexistence between your vessels and the Pokemon form, which carries over, I can see it carry over from. Your body of work.、Uh, it keeps our, you know, my focus, the, the guest focus always shifting between 
the decoration or the motif and, and the vessel itself. Thank you again. Um, we'll be back to talk with you more during the Q&A. So now I'd like to uh, introduce Toru Fukuda. He began developing his unique wood sculpting techniques while attending Otoinepu Arts and Crafts High School in central Hokkaido. He went on to graduate from Traditional Arts Super College of Kyoto, TASK, uh, T-A-S-K for short. His work blends traditional Japanese inlay with natural wood elements in the creation of life-size freestanding sculptures, primarily of insects and, and plants. Uh, for this exhibition, he has meticulously blended craft and art, uh, taking advantage of wood's natural spectrum of colors, textures, to create three works. Through the intricate processes of mokuzogan, or 3D wood inlay, and sashimono, uh, that's nail-free joinery, um, Fukuda-san captures Ho'o in mid-flight and the subtle details of Beautifly in a work called After Rain and Ariados scrambling across a tatami in floor. Fukuda-san, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Good evening, my name is Toru Fukuda, and I'm a sculptor exhibiting at the Pokemon Kogei exhibition. So first, I'd like to introduce myself by showing you some of my work. And so this one is titled Rain. And it depicts a butterfly flying in a rain that just started falling. So I used different colored wood for this piece um, to express with an approach similar to painting. And so on the bottom board, you can see that there's this pattern of the raindrops. This is a technique called wood inlaying, and it's done by using different kinds of wood fit perfectly into that base bottom board. And so the wings of the butterfly are created with the same technique. And normally this uh, wood inlay is done in a two-dimensional way, but um, turning this into a three-dimensional technique, I call it the three-dimensional wood inlay. And this one is called puddling. Um, you'll see that three swallowtail butterflies are drinking water from the little puddles. And the water droplet uh, parts that you see are actually carved out of one board, which is also the base that you see there. It's made of ebony. And the butterflies are not colored at all. They're actually created with three-dimensional um, wood inlays. And so this piece is, as you can see, um, are really about a realistic depiction of these bugs, and um, it really uses the characteristics of the original wood in order to create the pieces. And so for the Pokemon Kogei exhibit, um, this time I used the same style to create pieces. This is one of my pieces that I created um, this time around called Ho-O. And the title is Flying, 
And this depicts the legendary Pokemon ho o spiraling up into the sky. ほおが飛んだ後には大きな虹がかかるという伝説から、えー、螺旋を描く組子細工には色とりどりの木を用いて虹を表現しています。And because of the legend、um, that says that after the whole o flies, there's a big rainbow that appears,、um, I used this woodworking to, with different colored wood to create the idea of the rainbow. また、組子細工には日本の伝統的な模様である朝の葉模様を採用し、これからの未来への成長を託しています。And also, the woodworking that you can see here also incorporates the hemp leaf pattern,、um, which in Japan symbolizes this fast growth and idea of improvement. And the part of the ho o、uh, uses nine different kinds of wood. So, what really left an impression on me with Ho O was that sort of very exciting image of Ho O when he raises the wings about to flap his wings, and the idea of the wind, the air moving through his wings is what I was thinking of when I created this image. 今回はこの作品についいいててご紹介していきたいと思います。And this time I'd like to go into a little bit more detail about this piece. こちらはスケッチです。えー、飛んだ後の奇跡と虹の表現を考えていました。And this is a sketch, as you can see, of the pattern of his flight pattern, as well as the expression of the rainbow. 直線的に優雅に飛ぶ雰囲気や、勢いよく飛び立つイメージの奇跡などを考えた中から、最終的に螺旋で登るイメージになりました。Thinking about some ideas where it was just a very straight line that it flew straight up into the air, or the moment that it first took flight, I thought of as well, but at the, in the end, I thought the spiral was the most、uh, enticing image. こちらは一番最初に取り掛かった台座の部分です。どっしりとした台座に螺旋を描く支柱を組んでいきました。And this is the,、um, the base part、uh, that I started working on first. It's a very heavy base, and then I created these supporting pillars、uh, that would go up in a spiral. And so for the base, I used a camphor tree, and then the supporting pillars are made of ebony, which is very strong、um, and hard, so it works well as a support system. また、作品にしたときに、黒い線によって作品のコントラストが強まることも期待しています。And when I created, when I turned this into a piece, I thought that the contrast of the Piece would increase thanks to the look of the, these pillars as well. 続いて、螺旋を構成する組子細工の制作です。厚み2ミリの板を作り、手仕事で一つ一つ組んでいきます。And now I'd like to show you the production process of the woodworking parts that create the spiral.、Um, these are two millimeter thick pieces of wood that I create and hand, by hand combine them. こちらが一列組み上がったところです。60度の角度で組み上げていきます。And this is one complete row. Each of the triangles have a 60 degree angle. 全面で10面あるので、このパーツを10面分行います。And so there are 10 surfaces, so I needed to create 10 surfaces worth of these parts. 先ほどの作業を何度も繰り返しパーツを増やしていきます。And continuing with the same work, I created more parts. 螺旋を作る部分が揃いました。まだピタリとはめることはできないので、長さや大きさは余裕を持って長めに作っておきます。And so this is when I finally had all of the pieces ready. For the spiral, but they weren't of exact length yet because I made sure to Make them a little bit extra long just so that I could adjust them afterwards. 
。ここから三角形一つ一つの内側を作っていきます。And now comes the part where the interior of each triangle is made. And these are the source wood that I use to express the rainbow.、Um, and this time I'm using seven different colors. These are all absolutely natural wood colors. The blue color you see is actually a rotting kind of wood. Because in Japan we say the rainbow is of seven colors, I decided to use these seven colors of wood. And so this is where I'm putting together the hemp leaf pattern, and I think about the overall look as I choose each individual piece of wood. And the parts that are near ho o are a more a faster change in color. So in one triangle, I would use multiple colors at times. And then in contrast, the parts that are further away from ho o Are becoming more of the background, so I used more white pieces of wood as well, so it, the color kind of faded out. And as I continued the process, I used a file to flatten the, these parts, and you can see that even the sawdust is becoming rainbow colored. このようにカラフルな配色で作品を作ることはそんなに多くはないので、削ったキノコナも美しいと感動しました。I was quite moved、um, while creating this piece because it's not common to use so many colors in one piece, and the sawdust, when I saw it, was quite moving. 螺旋になった時のイメージを持ちながら、全体で虹を表現していきます。And I visualized the spiral as I continued to create the rainbow. 下になる部分が虹の根元になるので、白い木とのバランスを見ながら配置していきます。The bottom part is what will become the base of the rainbow, so I look at the balance with the white wood to create that part. こちらは、鳳凰の奇跡となる螺旋の制作です。螺旋はねじれているので、厚みのある木を用いて削っていきます。And this is the、uh, process of the The trail that Ho O leaves as it spirals up into the air. And because the spiral is twisted, I used a very thick piece of wood and、uh, shaved it down. れれ I decided to separate it into five sections and、uh, shape each piece individually. And once the shape、uh, started to get decided, then the different parts of the spiral become sharper. And because the, it's really an expression of that trail, the smoothness was very important to me. ヤスリをかけたりして仕上げていきます。螺旋を支柱と組み合わせていきながら調整していきます。And so I made sure to use a file to shape it as I go, and as I connect it with the supporting pillars, I adjust the size. Ho O no Sesak des. Atamakara onakao akai ki no katamari de kezri da shimashita. Onakaga shiroi no de betu de shiroi ki o yoi shimas. And this is the production process of Ho O itself. From the head to the stomach was a red piece of wood. And then because the stomach is white, I used a different. White piece for that. Ki wa so men ga a karuk, dan men ga irokoku mi eru se shitsu ga aru no de, kansei shita toki no mi e kata ni kiyotsuke nga ra moku me o hoko nado kime te ikimasu. And the wood itself has lighter tint on the sides as opposed to a darker tint on the cross sections. And so I made sure to think about which way I cut the wood, thinking about how I wanted it to look、uh, when it was complete. 完成に向けて削っていったときに、組んだところが邪魔にならないように気をつけて組む形を決めていきます
And as I approach completion, um, I made sure that the parts that link together um, would not get in the way. So I had to design that part consciously. Ki to you, so I wa, set check through to kini, kin zuk no yoni, toke te mus bits it ali de gimasen. Set check zai no kyo do, sara ni tsu meru tamini, ki jitai ni mo oto tsu tsukri, shikari kun de tsukri hitsu ga arimas. Kore wa mo ko sak kin yo, naga mochi sasir tamino, den to te kina kufu ni arimas. And wood as a material does not melt and fuse together the way metals do. So to increase the, the strength of the pieces that are attached, I made sure to make indentations or mortises and tenons so that they fit together.、Um, and that actually is a very traditional technique that is used to make sure these pieces are long lasting. And the curved surfaces are difficult because they have to fit perfectly, but I am very careful to make sure that there's no spaces that are created. And once the tenon, the part that you can see that fits into the other part, is completed, then I over and over many times do a temporary assembly to see. If I can get rid of any spaces. Kunde, set check is the toro des. Kumuto, hozo wa mie nakunari, outline da kega mie mas. And this is a image of when it was put together and glued. You can see that once it's put together, you can't see the tenon anymore, and you see just the outline. Saki hodo no kote de, uchiga ni skima ga dekite irito, kono sai ni skima ga dekite shimas. And as you can imagine, in the previous step, if there's any、uh, gap on the inside, then there will be a gap between the two pieces. それれ and I readied the wings with red wood, and then I made sure that the balance of the two wings flapping would look natural as I shaved the pieces. And I decided the angle of the wings, keeping in mind the image of Ho'o.、えー、And the tail feathers, I used an orange wood, and this was pieced together、uh, again using a tenon so that the two parts combined. I make sure that the overall image is good before I start into the details.、えー、翼と尾羽を仮組みしたところです、えー。完成のイメージを常に持ちながら作ります。And this is the temporary assembly of the wing and the tail feathers, and I kept in mind the complete image while I was creating this.、えー、こちらも雰囲気が決まってからディテールを攻めていきます。And for this as well, I get the overall image right and then start carving the details.、えー、羽を作り込みます。白い木で外側の羽の形を合わせて作っていきます。And this is when I was creating the wing.、Um, with the white color, I created the tip part of the wing. 鳳凰の羽は表から見ても裏から見ても、えー、赤い羽の隙間から白い羽が入っているため、先に赤い羽の切れ込みを作り、その間に白い木を差し込んでいきます。And because the whole o wing, whether you look at it from the top or the bottom, has these white wings growing out of the red wings, I created the slits in the red wings so that I could insert the pieces of white wing. 左右の白い羽ができました。羽のねじれを意識しています。ここから先端の緑の部分を組んでいきます。And this is where the left and right white wings were completed. And I really kept in mind the twisting of the wings while I created this. And now it's time to do the very tip, which is the green part. And so the cross section. Of the wing, as you can see, I carved some ruts so that the joints could be processed. So I added, oh, the thickness of the wing is only about two and a half millimeters. And then I created these ruts that are about 0.8 millimeters. 
羽の先端に緑色の木を組んでいきます。先ほどのジョイント加工のおかげで強い組み方となります。This is where I combined the green pieces of wood for the tips of the wing. Thanks to the joint processing that I created, it becomes very strong. 足は黒い木を使います。爪の部分は色が違うので、そこはまた別の木をはめ合わせていきます。And for the feet, I used a black wood,、uh, but the nails are a different color, so for that, I insert a different colored piece of wood. 胴体と組み合わせます。飛んでいる時の足だということを意識を持ってバランスを取ります。鳳凰の資料を見るのはもちろんのこと、実際の鳥が飛んでいる姿も調べながら、鳳凰らしい部分を見つけ出していきます。And the whole、oh, I referenced a lot of different images, but I also looked at real birds when they're flying to find sort of the unique whole ness. 顔の加工に入ります。くちばしやとさかは黄色い木で表現します。And this is where I started shaping the face. The beak and the crown I shaped out of yellow wood. 顔の部分を組んだ様子です。くちばしは黄色ですが、内側は茶色になるため、その部分も増顔して表現しています。And this is the part where I put the face together. The beak is yellow, but the inside color is brown on the beak. So for that part, I created a wood inlay as well. 完成時にはほとんどわからないですが、少しの差で印象が変わるので妥協はできません。When it's complete, it's a very subtle difference, but with that subtle difference, you can completely change the impression. So there, I made no compromises. 最後に目を増顔していきます。バランスに気を配りながら慎重に加工していきます。Finally, sure、白目の部分や交際、瞳孔なども増顔で表現します。また、目のハイライトの部分も白い木で増顔していきます。The、uh, white of the eyes, the cornea and the pupil were all expressed through a wood inlay, and I also、uh, used some white wood to show the highlights of the eye as well. 全体を組んで接着します。本組が終わると接合部分なども仕上げていきます。And this is where the entire piece was put together and glued. Once the main assembly is finished, then I start finishing the parts that were combined. 仕上げが進んでいくと、ツヤも上がって、木の色味が深くなっていきます。羽も薄く掘っていき、かなり繊細になってくるので、ここで引っ掛けたりしないように気をつけて仕上げます。そして、鳳凰自体の彫りが終わると、螺旋の頂上で組み上げて完成となります。Flight, こちらが完成写真となります。お楽しみいただけましたでしょうか全体の螺旋の雰囲気のほか、ディテールまでこだわった作品となっています。This is the complete photo. I hope you enjoyed this part of the presentation. I really thought to、uh, make sure that the spiral felt real and the details were great. またここでポケモン工芸店に出品しているほか2作品の作品もご紹介したいと思います。And now I'd like to introduce two more pieces that I exhibited at the Pokemon Kogay exhibit. こちらの作品はフロアと題しアリアドスをモチーフに制作しました。This one is called Floor and it is the Ariados Pokemon. 人の暮らしとポケモンとの距離感をテーマにした作品で、床の表現は日本の伝統的な床である畳を思わせるデザインを考えました。The theme for this piece is sort of people's daily life and Pokemon, and、um, as you can see, the floor is the traditional tatami mat of Japan. 地板に斜めに走る帯は、日本の伝統的な装飾技法の寄せ木で作り、畳のイメージを引き立てるために入れました。And the strip that you can see going through the tatami diagonally is a traditional Japanese technique called marquetry. 
and to I used that to increase the sort of image of the tatami. アリアドスは足の動きなどを意識し、毒、虫タイプのちょっと怖いような雰囲気を表現したいと思いました。ぜひ会場でご堪能ください。And Ariados、um, is a poison and bug type Pokemon, so I wanted to make it look a little scary, and that's why the movement of the, of the legs are a little bit in that flavor. I hope you enjoy this at the actual exhibit. 続いて、こちらの作品は、アメアガリと題し、アゲハントがモチーフとなっています。And this piece is called After Rain, and Beautifly is the motif. こちらの作品は自然の中で暮らすアゲハントをイメージし、雨で濡れた地面から水を吸うシーンを表現しています。See, butterfly, uh, nature, water, 地面から生えた吹きの葉の上には雨上がりの水滴を掘っています。The water droplets onto the butterbur、uh, leaf, as you can see、uh, just after a rain. 自然界のアゲハチョウは地面から水を吸うのがほとんどはオスの行動となっています。And the swallowtail butterflies in nature, the males are the ones that actually drink the water. その雰囲気を意識し、アゲハントもオスの設定で模様などを作りました。So I kept that in mind as I Created this piece and made the wings、um, according to what a male butterfly、uh, might look like. I have a very good idea of what a male butterfly might look like. That's all for my presentation. I hope you get to enjoy these pieces at the exhibit and thank you for listening to the end of my presentation. Thank you, Fukuda san. Wow, the vibrant color and detail within your work is incredible. And, you know, the three pieces in the exhibition really highlight the broad scope of your skill and technique. And I was also amazed by the composition of the whole piece. It's so architectural, it's, it's almost like you built a building. ありがとうございます。And the high degree of focus and patience I see in your process is very inspiring. The tatami as part of floor, which will be on display later this month, really fooled me when I first saw it. I thought it was the real thing. I thought it was a real tatami. <laughs> and now we would like to reach out for some questions from the audience. I'd like to welcome back Masumoto san. And to begin with, I would first like to ask Fukuta san a question that came in. I believe you mentioned using nine different types of wood to make your beautiful whole masterpiece. How many different types of wood are there that can be used for your work? Or how many types of, of wood do you have? ほとんどは茶色い色で明るい茶色だったり暗い茶色が多いんですが、えー、その幅を入れて、今家には160種類ぐらいの木があります。So,、um, many of the colors are different shades of brown, like a light brown or a dark brown, but including those, I have 160 different colors at my house. Wow. So, do you use all of the wood? Do you throw any, away any scraps or do you save those in case you might need them in other work? ほとんどすべての部分が活用できるので、えー、ゴミになる部分はあまりないですね。I use almost all of the wood.、Um, there's very, very little、um, that actually becomes waste. And do you go out into the forest or foraging for wood on your own, or do you, how do you procure your supply?、えー、ほとんどは、えー、材木屋さんで、えー、購入した、えー、もので、えー、腐った木などは拾ったものだったり、えー家具屋さんがいらないって言ってくださったものとかも使っています。So I、um, mostly go to lumber yards to pick up the wood, but sometimes I、uh, go out in nature and pick up like the, the rotting wood,、um, <笑> or I get some wood from furniture stores that they say they don't need anymore.Thank you.Now、um, a question for Masumoto san. 
How did you feel when you received the offer to participate in the Pokemon and Crafts exhibition? What would be the biggest challenge in the work that you did? ちょうどポケモンさんのお話をいただく前ぐらいに展覧会で一つか二つキャラクターの作品ができたらちょっと面白いかもと思って考えていったんですね。実際にはちょっと実現しなかったんですけど、それもあったのでとてもあのいいチャンスが<笑>いただけたので嬉しかったです。So firstly, before Pokemon came to me, I had an exhibit and I was actually thinking during that exhibit that I'd love to do some sort of characters. So it was just a perfect、um, fit when they reached out and asked for me to do this. So, in the case of the book, I was very happy to be able to do this. I was very happy to be able to do this. I was very happy to be able to do this. I was very happy to be able to do this. I was very happy to be a まあ、2倍になったら苦労は6倍ぐらいの感じですかね。そう、もう一つの大変さは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たち Through the work you've done in this project, has do you think it will influence future work? So, this is the first thing that I have done. The first thing that I have done is the first thing that I have done. The first thing that I have done is the first thing that I have done. The first thing that I have done is the first thing that I have done. The first thing that I have d o I think my big discovery this time was using shigaraki wear.、Um, I think if there's the right motif, I'll do it again. In the past, I was thinking that it's a very high calorie technique and it's very unpredictable in its results. But this time around, I actually kind of learned that you can somewhat predict how it's going to turn out. So, That was a very exciting discovery, and I'll think I'll use it again. Thank you. I would like to ask Fukura san as well Did you experience anything new doing this work with the Pokemon theme, and do you feel it influenced your future work? そのどうやったらその木工の魅力を皆さんにお伝えできるのかっていうのをすごい考えたきっかけにもなった展示会だったので、今後の作品についてもやっぱその木工の魅力っていうのが自分の中でもすごくこう再確認しながら作れたのが次につながると感じました。I was the only woodworker for this、um, exhibit and so knowing this I thought a lot about the medium itself of working with wood and What is really special about it. So I think that thought process I'll bring with me to my next work as well. Thank you, Fukuda san. And I guess we're coming to the end of the evening. I would love to ask more questions and share、uh, more questions from the audience. But、uh, I think it's time for us to wrap up. So, on behalf of everyone joining us today, I'd like to extend a heartfelt thank you to our speakers. Masumoto san and Fukuda san, thank you very much.、Uh, Domo arigato gozaimashita. And thank you everybody for joining us and see you again. Once again,、uh, have a good day and good evening. Thank you. <laughs>